everybody. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to uh, whereiskobe.com blog. Um, I have done some traveling before, some short trips, but uh, this is going to be a longer trip from uh, LA to Argentina, Antarctica. Uh, Ushaiwa will be as far as I can go, and then hopefully a boat to Antarctica. Um, thanks for coming here, and uh, hopefully I can show you some fun, good times. Um, you know, a little bit about myself is, you know, I've, I've been into motorcycles since I was six. I bought my first motorcycle when I was six, and I raced and have rode pretty much my whole life. Um, I've done some shorter trips, but this is definitely going to be a long trip um, where I'm going for six months. That's, that's the plan anyway. I'm going to be going through, um, I believe, 17 countries, uh, Mexico, uh, Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, uh, Costa Rica, Panama, and then take a sailboat from Panama to Colombia. Uh, the reason you do that is there's a Darien, the Darien Gap, and it's a lawless swampland, so you can't, the Pan Am Highway doesn't go all the way down. So I take that sailboat from um, Panama to Colombia. From Colombia, we go down to Ecuador, uh, Peru, uh, Bolivia, get into Chile and then cut over to Argentina and down to Ushaiwa which is the furthest point you can go in South America and then there's a boat uh, I don't know if it's a cruise boat that takes you to Antarctica which I've heard is pretty cool so I'm gonna have to do that I mean who's been to Antarctica right so I guess that's kind of the reason why I'm doing it too is it's a challenge you know and uh, as I've gotten older gracefully, something like that. <laughs> um, you know, I've, I've seen friends, family go through hardships and death, sickness, you know, and you realize that life's just not about making a lot of money and going to work. Um, you know, turning 40, <laughs> I guess that's midlife crisis, I don't know. Um, but, you know, you, you uh, I feel a lot different than when I, when I was 20 for sure. So. You know, you kind of, I kind of want to take this step back also. I think this a, a long trip like this allows you to break uh, a lot of devices and bad habits you know, that you, you've created over the last 40 years. Maybe the dogma that, the, that you thought or the insecurities, you know, let go of a lot of that. And, uh, you know, to do this, it, it hasn't been easy. It's, you know, I, I, I started traveling on my motorcycles and went through some hardships myself and I realized that the money wasn't everything but I had to make some changes in life. I couldn't have the new Mercedes, you know, homes, etc. You know, the brand new watches. So I, I took kind of that step back and uh, got rid of some cars and things and, and, and made it so my life is affordable and that being single at 40 I can travel more. Get out, see the world and uh, maybe learn something about myself and learn something, you know, understand the world in a better way. It's a short life and I, I just wanted to... I'm sure a lot of guys want to get out there and, and just walk away from everything and, and chase the dream, so to speak. You know, I, I don't know if I'm doing that. You know, I'm, I'm chasing the dream. Um, but it is nice just to get out and go and, and kind of forget about where you've been and all your problems and everything else and just kind of be like a kid again. <clears throat> um, so, I, I don't know, this is a new new blog for me, but bear with me. Um, I guess what we'll talk about first is obviously um, packing. And everything I've packed, a, a lot of people want to know that. So it's it's definitely difficult to be on a motorcycle for six months. It's not easy. Uh, that's part of the joy of it, though, also. You know, you really get to see everything in the world, feel it, taste it, touch it, be right there with it. Um, you know, I'm going through, you know, in Bolivia, uh, I, I think you're at 15,000 feet a lot of the time in the Andes, you know, so it's going to be cold. Uh, you're going through the jungle in Colombia, Belize, you know, Central America, so. There's a lot to think about there where, you know, Antarctica is freezing and all of this is going on a motorcycle, you know, so clothes, gloves, it's just, it's just, anyway, it's been difficult packing, but I think I got it figured out. So we'll go over a few of the things I've packed and how that's going to work. Um, so bear with me for a minute and we'll, we'll do this. <clears throat> 